Five strongest extinct bear species. In the untamed wilderness, bears stand as formidable predators, commanding respect in the natural order. But what if I told you that today's bears are but echoes of the true titans that once ruled? Prepare to delve into the ancient realms of Earth's mighty predators. In a world long gone, bears reigned as unparalleled titans. Today, we unveil the untold saga of the five strongest extinct bear species. From colossal cave dwellers to fearless hunters, witness the awe-inspiring strength that once dominated our planet. Brace yourselves for an adventure into the untamed past, where bears were not just apex predators, but the very embodiment of primal power. Get ready to witness the legends of the five strongest extinct bear species. Number five, the bear with the crushing bite, scientifically known as Agriotherium africanum. Agriotherium is an extinct genus of bears whose fossils are found in Miocene through Pleistocene-aged strata of North America, Eurasia, and Africa. This bear is not all that special at first glance. It's about as large as a modern grizzly, measured around 2 meters in body length, and weighed around 317 to 540 kilograms. And except for the raccoon-like pattern on its face, it looks much like a grizzly as well. Yet one look at the skull of an Africanum will tell a different story, as will a peek at its teeth. The Africanum has the strongest bite of any bear, extinct or living, and it could crush straight through almost anything. Scientists believe that the bear evolved for this trait to handle the stress of struggling prey on its teeth, but over time the Africanum found itself capable of crushing bone and muscle, making going for the vitals only a formality. Analysis of the teeth, jaw and toothwear patterns identifies Agriotherium as an omnivore that ate a lot of plant material. Though its teeth do not show adaptations for a carnivorous diet, isotope evidence suggests it did eat a significant amount of animal material, similar to some populations of modern brown bears. Number 4. Giant Short-Faced Bear, scientifically known as Arctodus simus. The giant short-faced bear, also known as the bulldog bear, was a very large representative of the bear family, which lived in North America until the end of the Pleistocene, about 11,000 years ago. Genetically very similar to the Arctotherium genus, the giant short-faced bear is one of the few species that dared to rival the Arctotherium in size as well. The species first appeared roughly 800,000 years ago in what is now the United States, and soon spread in Canada. It is believed that the bear averaged 1,000 kilograms and stood 1.8 meters tall at the shoulder. Fully drawn up, these massive bears could reach up to 3.5 meters. In addition to the particularly short snout, to which it owes its name, its anatomy has other peculiarities within the bear family. Of all the known bears, Arctodus had the most carnivorous lifestyle. His canines were strong and spaced out like a big cat's, which together with the enormous jaw muscles allowed him to have a powerful death bite. Limbs that are disproportionately long for a bear indicate that it must have been far faster and more enduring as a runner than today's bears, which can reach the speed of a galloping horse at short distances. With its oversized olfactory organ, it would have scented a carcass of a large mammal of the Ice Age at that time, such as the woolly mammoth from a great distance, only to break it open with its powerful jaws, crush the bones and preferably consume the protein-rich bone marrow. By far the most common bone finds were made in what is now California. Number 3. Cave Bear, scientifically known as Ursus spileus. The cave bear lived during the last glacial period, which was about 120,000 to 10,000 before Christ. The cave bear's habitat was Europe, from northern Spain and the Pyrenees to the Urals and Black Seas, and from southern England to Macedonia. His head torso length was up to 3.5 meters, his shoulder height about 1.70 meters. It was thus significantly larger than today's brown bear. The females of the cave bear were, as in today's bear species, slightly smaller than the males. The weight of a male cave bear is estimated at 600 to 1,200 kilograms. Thus, male cave bears were heavier than a bison or a cape buffalo. The cave bear had powerful jaws, the muscles of which attached to a crown ridge on the top of the head. 
The characteristic that set cave bears apart from other bears is, of course, their tendency to live in caves year-round. Unlike other bears who only stay in caves briefly during hibernation, the cave bear spend most of their time inside the limestone caves of Western Europe. In parts of Russia, where the bears frequently interacted with cave lions, the two apex predators battled constantly for territory. In European cave deposits, the remains of more than 100,000 cave bears have been found. Number 2. The King Polar Bear, scientifically known as Ursus Maritimus Tyrannus. Imagine the largest polar bear you've ever seen on TV or in real life. Now imagine that even bigger. Very little is known about this ancient species of polar bear, but what is known is from a single fragmentary ulna discovered near London, more precisely in the gravels of the River Thames at Kew Bridge. It is believed that the species appeared 130,000 years ago and provided the evolutionary link between grizzly bears and modern polar bears. Unfortunately, there is no exact information about the size and weight that the king polar bear reached, but it is estimated to be about the size and weight of the giant short-faced bear. But if we think about the fact that today's polar bear is one of the strongest bears, if not even the strongest bear, we can only imagine what an absolute monster the polar bear must have been back then. Number 1. History's Largest Bear, scientifically known as Arctotherium angustidens. Meet the king of all bears. Arctotherium was a genus of short-beaked bears from the early Pleistocene and Holocene. The genus lived in South America about 1.2 million to 11,000 years ago. With Arctotherium angustidens, it contained one of the largest known bears in the history of the Earth. This bear was so massive that scientists believe it regularly weighed between 900 and 1800 kilograms. The most likely value is assumed to be around 1590 to 1750 kilograms. This made this specimen almost five times heavier than the average polar bear and 15 times the weight of a spectacled bear. Arctotherium was characterized by a massive and short, slightly high skull with a uniform convex curved forehead line. The nasal bone was flat and also short, the zygomatic arches well developed. The orbit had a very typical round shape and had a position that was slightly outwards to the side. Arctotherium is known from numerous localities in South America ranging from northern Venezuela to Patagonia. However, most of the finds come from the Pampas region in Argentina. Among other things, remains of dentition from El Rodeo in the northwest of the country were discovered here, which can be placed in the late Pleistocene. It often challenged the other apex predators of its day, such as saber-toothed cats and one. As for its diet, it routinely ate other megafauna such as giant armadillos, ancient toxodons and even camels. This bear was indeed a beast. And there we have it, the five most powerful extinct bear species of all time. I hope you learned something new. Feel free to share your opinion in the comments down below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any new videos where we delve deeper into the world of bears and their unimaginable strength. Also, make sure to watch this video right here where we talk about a hypothetical battle between the two strongest modern bear species, the polar bear and the Kodiak bear, and which species comes out on top. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys there.